May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? I repeat, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? We're gonna have a problem here. Y'all act like you never seen a white person before. Jaws all on the floor like Pam, like Tommy just burst in the door and started whooping her. Okay, this is our project, the basic idea. If you could see, this is our entire Root Goldberg project and all the items we used in it. So let's begin. We'll first begin with the string. If this string is connected to both the lever and the table, the string is taped down or tied to the table and it's also taped or, taped or tied to the lever. What this does is keeping the lever down and making the ball stay in place. When we begin, we will cut this string and cut it with a wedge, also known as a scissor. What this will do is make the lever rise higher and make the ball move lower down and bounce. After this, the ball will hit this book, which causes it to fall over. If you can see closely, there is a car on top of this inclined plane or a ramp. This car has a string attached to it, and this string is also attached to a tiny hole in the cereal box. We have a cereal box, and what we did we, is at the bottom of it, we cut a tiny hole in it, in which if it was open, then the cereal will come falling out. So once the car gets hit by the book, it will roll down the inclined plane, and obviously it will roll off the table. But what... But what would happen is that the car will bring down the string with it, which causes the tiny flap to open. After opening the cereal will pour down and out and towards its inclined plane or a ramp. The cereal will tumble down and end up falling into a cup at, that is waiting at the bottom. This cup is could be also used as a bowl. We thought it would be the same thing. So at the end you would have a cup or a bowl of cereal. Sit me here next to Britney Spears. You see Christina Aguilera better switch me chairs so I can sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst and hear him argue over who she gave. First, we cut the string with a scissor to act as a wedge. The string is connected to the lever which has three marbles on it. The lever is going to tip over to the other side because the weight of the three marbles which is kinetic energy. The marble goes down the lever which creates friction, which also is the law of inertia. The three marbles have potential energy when they are still and stop moving. When the ball hits the book, the book will fall, hitting the back of the car, causing the car to roll down at a high speed, causing maximum kinetic energy towards the car. After the book hits the car, the car rolls down the ramp and hits the cereal box. Using the law of action-reaction, which can also be known as cause and effect, the action-slash-cause is the book hitting the car. The reaction-slash-effect is the car rolling down and hitting the cereal box. Before the book hits the car, the car has the greatest amount of potential energy. The reason for this is because the car is not moving. Because it's not moving, it has the potential to move. When the car is at the end of the ramp, it has a large amount of kinetic energy since kinetic energy is energy in motion. Because it has gathered energy from being on the ramp, this energy is used as it's going to hit. The cereal inside the box has a lot of potential energy since the box is at the edge of the table. When the car drives off the ramp, increasing acceleration and forcing the box to open, which has the potential energy, the cereal falls down the inclined plane, gaining and building kinetic energy. The cereal falls into the bowl, losing kinetic energy, and then we have a bowl of cereal. Enjoy! Women wave your pantyhose, sing the chorus, and it goes! I'm Slim Shady, yes I'm the real Shady, all you other Slim Shadies are just demonstrating. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. Cause I'm Slim 